Hello and welcome to Matrix Snippets. In this session we will discuss how to customize your HUT sheet. Now HUT sheet is similar to Market Watch and they're both located on the home page. You can customize HUT sheet just as you can Market Watch. Now in Market, excuse me, in HUT sheet you have different time frames that you can select new this session 24 hour back today three days seven day or custom if I select custom when I go to select a hot sheet it's going to prompt me for a date range you can select a specific time from which you want to run it no more than 30 days in the past or you can select a time range for today those are the two options that you have and if you want to make those changes you go ahead and click the time in there enter a date and you're all set I'm just going to leave it and click OK and I'm going to cancel at this point. So those are the time periods that you can select for. Now you can customize each individual hut sheet okay, by clicking the customize button lower in the, in the lower left hand corner and it's going to bring you to your manage hut sheets window. In here you can selectively choose a cross property to edit or any of the other one individual property types. I'm going to choose cross property and we're going to come over here to the right and click on edit criteria and in edit criteria I'm going to do it for a specific range and I'm going to select Rhode Island again parent child relationship between state county and city when I select Rhode Island I get only the Rhode Island counties and only the Rhode Island cities so now I'm going to drill down a little bit further I'm going to select Washington and then I'm going to select Block Island. I'm only interested in looking Block Island. I have a very specific customer I'm working with and that's the only person I'm working with right now. So I'm going to make it very specific to Block Island only. And I'm going to click Save. Now since I made this cross property Block Island, I don't want to confuse myself. I want to remember what I did so I can rename this and call this Block Island. And then click Save and it tells me what the criteria is so I'm going to click save and in the menu it now shows block island and I can go through and do the same thing for each of the other property categories it's the same method just click on the property type edit criteria and over in criteria <coughs> excuse me you can add what you want I'm going to do Rhode Island again and whoop, I got to add it and then save it add it and then save it okay so now I've got Rhode Island in there this time I'm going to choose uh, Providence and I only want to work on the east side so that's my criteria I don't care about the bedrooms I can add those if I want or I can add additional fields to any one of these hot sheets if I want to click on the add button select the field that you want to add add it into the selected fields and then click back As soon as you add one of those fields it's going to show up down underneath the additional fields banner right here so don't look for it on your menu at top it's going to be down below and they'll stay on there forever till you remove them so once you add a field in there it's going to stay there the next time you come back to the search criteria so now that we've got our criteria set Providence East Side I'm going to click Save and in this one I'm going to rename that one as well and we're going to call it East side of Prov and then click Save. So now I can watch these and know exactly what they are. And when I want to go back to the hot sheet, I'm just going to click Done. All right. And in here, you can see exactly what you've got. You've got Block Island, East Side, and the other ones I haven't touched, they remain the same. So I'm tired of this. I don't want to deal with these anymore. I've lost that customer or I already sold them a house which would be even better. And I'm going to go back and click customize and I'm going to set it back to the original settings. And the east side of Providence is the same way. All I have to do is come down here to restore system defaults or if I only want to change the criteria I can just reset the criteria go back to each one. You have to reset it for each one. But you notice the names stay the chain, same. In order for me to rename these, I can either go back in and rename or I can get down to restore system defaults and once I click on that and click OK, it puts everything back to the beginning just the way that I started. Go click done and now I'm back to my home page and I can go in and customize this at any point in time. It's very simple to do. Take the time to do it and use it a few times and you'll get the hang of it. If you have any questions, give us a call. MLS Tech Support 401. 785-9898, select option 3. And have a great day.